Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with grilled flap meat. That's right, this Memorial Day weekend is the official start to grilling season, and this thin, juicy, relatively unknown cut of beef is one of my favorite things to grill. And not only is it delicious and easy to cook, it's incredibly fun to say. So let's go ahead and get started. And there it is, the star of the show. And you'll notice it looks very similar to skirt steak, but it actually is a different cut and usually much cheaper. And this is considered a classic butcher's cut, meaning the butcher's usually the only ones that get to eat this. The general public doesn't know that much about this, so it's not something people ask for. So that would have been one of the cuts the meat men keep to themselves. It's a little selfish, but I don't blame them. And by the way, the main purpose of this video is not to learn a recipe, but simply to point out the existence of flat meat. But I'm going to turn mine into a very simple, very delicious Asian-style salad. And to do that, I'm going to mix up a little bit of a marinade, which I'm going to start with a nice big spoon of green curry paste. And of course we can make that from scratch, but you know what, if I only need a spoon, and I don't feel like grinding my own lemongrass and ginger and chilies, etc., I'll just use the jar. It totally works. And then to that green curry paste, I'm going to add a little bit of fish sauce, a splash of rice vinegar, some freshly ground black pepper, some cayenne pepper, and then a couple spoons of coconut milk, which by the way, I'm totally fascinated with lately. It's like my current favorite ingredient. So a couple spoons of coconut milk, and let's go ahead and mix that up. And then what we'll do is we'll place our flat meat in some kind of dish. We'll pour over that marinade and brush it all over till they're evenly coated. And then of course, we're gonna have to give those the old flap flip. Make sure it's all thoroughly coated. And once our flat meat is marinated, we have a couple options. You could wrap this up, throw it in the fridge overnight, or you can marinate it early in the day, wrap it up, leave it in the fridge for three or four hours and grill it later. Or if you're like me and you totally have the munchies, just go ahead and wrap it but leave it out on the counter at room temperature for one hour. And is that safe? Pretty sure. But anyway, regardless, I left mine on the counter for one hour, and then it's time to head out to the grill and place those down on those hot grates. And as you can see, those coals are white hot. So this is definitely the kind of cut you want to cook very quickly on very high heat. So I'm only going to leave it on the first side for two minutes. And by that time, it should release from the grill and allow you to turn it. So after about two minutes, I'm going to flip those over. And then one little subtle but important move here. When you flip them over, that raw side is going to kind of attach to the grill, and it's going to prevent that meat from contracting. So what I like to do is take my tongs and give this what I call the flap meat flap. So take your tongs and kind of give it a little flap like that, and that will hopefully cause that side to release from the grates, which will make it a little less thin and a little easier to control the doneness. And of course, I'm just guessing at times, but after a couple minutes per side, you should be getting very close. And then what I like to do is kind of flip it back and forth, you know that Chef John doesn't agree with that don't play with your meat thing. I think it's absolutely fine to reflip these. I think that little bit of juice that accumulates on the top when you flip it will caramelize onto the bottom. So basically after a couple minutes per side, I'm kind of flipping them around and checking them until I think they're done. And similar to skirt steak, when that surface gets a little bit of shine to it, it starts to look a little sweaty, pardon the expression, it's pretty much done. Which for me was right here. We're going to pull that off onto a plate. And then of course we're gonna let this rest for at least five or 10 minutes. And during that time, some of the most delicious juices in the history of resting meats will accumulate on that plate. And I'm gonna use that for the base for my dressing. So I'm gonna pour those juices into a bowl. And of course that already has the flavor of my green curry paste and the other ingredients we already added. But I am gonna go ahead and fortify it with some additional fish sauce and another splash of rice vinegar. And then I think we'll also heat things up a little bit with a little spoon of sambal, which is just a ground chili sauce. If you're a fan of this channel, I bet you have some of that in your fridge. And once our dressing's done, we can go ahead and slice the meat. Now, if you're only gonna pay attention to one thing in this video, besides how fun it is to say flat meat, it's this, you must cut across the grain. Which sounds easy, but here's why people screw it up. When people see a piece of meat shaped like this, it's intuitive to want to cut it across like this. But that's the direction the meat fibers run. So if you do cut it that way, it'll be like chewing rubber bands, delicious rubber bands, but rubber bands nonetheless. So what we really need to do is turn it this way to cut, but then the problem is it's kind of too long to make nice cuts. So what I like to do is cut it in half and turn it that way, and that will allow us to cut it across the grain into some nice servable portions. And forget about cutting it at an angle, just cut straight down across the grain. And then once that meat's sliced up, you're ready to use it. And there's so many things you could do with this, but I'm actually gonna do a very simple salad that's very similar to one of our neighborhood Thai restaurants. So I have some little gem lettuce, some julienne carrots and red onions. And I'm gonna go ahead and slap some of that flat meat over the top. And then once that's been thoroughly flat meated, I'm gonna go ahead and finish with some chopped peanuts. It's gonna give it a nice little crunch. TV chefs always say that when they put nuts on something. And then I'm gonna go ahead and douse that with that delicious meat dripping dressing. 
It's going to have a little bit of saltiness from the fish sauce and a little sweet and sourness from the rice vinegar. And of course, it's going to have a little heat from the chilies and the green curry paste. And then last but not least, some fresh cilantro. And you're looking at one incredibly delicious, relatively healthy salad. And if you can, try to find little gem lettuce. It's a really cool product. Very versatile in that you can eat it like a salad like this. But what I also like about it is it makes great lettuce cups. Just pile some of that juicy, flavorful, smoky meat along with those crunchy veggies and bright dressing. Just a beautiful bite of food. And for whatever reason, if you can't find little gem, go ahead and use baby romaine. It kind of works the same. You can do a salad or lettuce cups. And for whatever reason, if you're not into the salad thing, this grilled flat meat makes unbelievably delicious tacos, as well as equally epic sandwiches. So like I said, I don't want you to get too distracted by the actual recipe. The point of this video was to let you know that flat meat exists. And speaking of flat meat, I've been flapping my lips long enough. So let me finish off by officially saying I really hope you give this a try. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and way more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.